like an alarm clock. It actually is an alarm clock. Uh, so what you do, how it works, is you wear uh, this headband at night, wirelessly transmits your data back to the bedside display. So as these sensors here rest on your forehead, they are actually reading the signals emitted by your brain. And so as you go through the different cycles of sleep, mm -hmm. your activity level increases and decreases. So based on those changes in activity level, we can phase or know what, what cycle of sleep you're in. And this, every day, you can get an actual detailed breakdown, visual composition of your night's rest. And you also get this, which is a ZQ score. And it's a single measure of sleep quality. So every morning you wake up, you're going to see right here on this on the display your ZQ score. So you're going to roll over and you're going to look and be like, all right, that was a good night's sleep, or that was a bad night's sleep, and you know right away. And then once you kind of, once you know that, now you can go analyze it and understand why. Why did I get a bad night's sleep? Well, I had a half dozen awakenings. That's never a good. Do is you upload upload all your sleep data okay. to the website, and there there's a couple things. There's a series of online sleep tools that actually give you more ways to slice and dice your data and understand it. But importantly, there's a there's a journal. And okay. in the journal, it asks you a series of questions based on lifestyle. So you answer those questions about what you did the day before. Yeah. And so as you start to populate that day by day by day, you now have all your lifestyle factors captured, you have your sleep data captured, and now you can start to cross-analyze this. So you can really understand what am I doing during the day that's helping me sleep better yeah. or is hindering my sleep, you know, ruining my sleep. So once you understand that, now you can start to change those things. Yeah. And you can do cause and effect, you can do self-help, and you can monitor whether they're working or not working because every day you're going to get a ZQ score. And if that number is going up, you're doing something right. If that number is going down, obviously something, something has changed. You're doing something that's affecting that. And you can analyze it by bunch of different factors. You have some of the basics, caffeine, alcohol, exercise, stress, but all those things have a huge impact on your sleep. And then the last step, if you want to do it, there's a personalized coaching program. And the coaching program will take your data, your lifestyle factors, analyze those two together, and will recommend different steps in our online program that you should try so that you know, as those tips and advice come out, to help you improve your sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, is this backed up with medical research? Like, there's real, there's real yes. backing behind it. Yeah, we we have a, a high-powered science advisory board, okay, uh, made up of sleep doctors from Harvard, you know, all the way out to the West Coast, sleep psychologists, uh -huh. you know, people who've written books. So we've taken all of their input, all the experts in sleep science, and developed a coaching program that's designed to try to counteract the seven major factors that lead to a bad night's rest. And how comfy is it? Give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Go for it. And you're going to get a picture of me. Awesome. <laughs> Big fashion accessory, but uh, soon to be. Everyone's gonna be wearing it. <laughs> now it's not that bad. No, and then you can adjust the straps yeah. on the side, loosen it, you know, tighten it, however you want. And it's not very sensitive on where on the head it is. As long as it's on your forehead and it can move, it can okay. move side to side a little bit. I mean, you obviously I toss can't, and turn, you obviously so can't wear it backwards. Saying. Yeah, uh, but as long as it's in that general vicinity, it will pick up those signals. Yep. Now, how good is the sleep have you gotten here? <laughs> I was a rock star the first night. I was high 80s. Uh -huh. But then uh, one night I didn't even care to you track. Have a real I didn't want to know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know. But I'm the same way uh, as you were saying for an active sleeper. Yeah. I'm a side sleeper. Yeah. So originally when I first put it on, uh, I was like, all right, this is going to affect me. But you know, you learn really fast if you slide it to one side a little bit. Uh, you, know, you won't feel it as you're leaning against the pillow. And even if you do, actually, uh, after a night or two, it just becomes you know routine. You don't even feel it anymore. It's like wearing a hat. You, you just kind of forget it's on sometimes. So. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so the sure. Zio, the thing that everybody's been talking about.